Hey there everyone, this is James with Lenspiration, a wholesome place to learn, grow, and share all things photography. I'm out here shooting schoolhouses in the wintertime in Connecticut. I wanted to talk a little bit about tripods. The tripod I currently have is what I call a Walmart tripod. And this thing is not exactly the most sturdy tripod in the world, but it's fairly cheap and what most people have. So I want to talk about why I'm shooting with it. Okay, so I made it here safe and sound to Guido's house in the amazing uh, the Outback. It did a great job in the snow and Jonathan's flying the drone right now. Uh, and I go to get all my stuff out of the car and you wouldn't believe it, I couldn't find my tripod. For the record, I don't forget my tripod all the time. It's only the second time I can ever remember I forgot a tripod on a big excursion. So that's why I have this tripod with me today. But I think it's a good thing because it's helping me to learn how to shoot with equipment that is not the best equipment in the world. So my brother had this Velbon, Velbon uh, CX thingy. And so I learned, I'm learning a lot of things. Um, uh, one of the one of the issues with this tripod here is that it does not allow me to take vertical images. I'm only able to mount the camera here on the top and go up and down and pan to the side. I cannot move that plate up to shoot a vertical shot. And that can be a problem when you're trying to shoot the cover of a magazine. They're usually vertical. So I have to change the way I shoot based on the tripod that I have here. Thankfully today is very bright and I'm, it's in the middle of the day so I don't have to use this tripod, but if it were to be dusk or sunset, blue hour, then yes, I would definitely have to recompose my pictures or compose them differently to get a good vertical crop from horizontal pictures. Another thing about this tripod here is um, instead of having one knob to loosen and go in any direction, I need to loosen this knob to pan up and down, and I need to loosen this knob right here to be able to pan side to side. So that makes it a little bit more difficult when I'm used to just one, and so I have to take my time when shooting with this tripod. So it's sometimes frustrating, but don't let anything become frustrating. Just give yourself a little extra time to be able to make it work for you. The other thing here about this tripod uh, I'm going to have to show you is this attachment for how the camera attaches to the tripod. There's no quick plate or just uh, a shoe of some kind. There's no way to attach the camera other than simply screwing it on the tripod itself. Let me show you. It's a little bit difficult to uh, get the camera on. This is how you have to do it. Close that up, screw this down tight so it won't move around. And then I have my screw right here, just screws into the bottom of the camera. And just tighten it down as tight as I'm, I can do it. And so then you have your tripod and just one final thing uh, with using this tripod is the legs. It's a little difficult with, to spread them apart any further than, I guess, a typical 45 degree angle. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what that angle is, but you can't open it up any further. You can't use it on tough, rugged terrain. You just have to use it on, you know, flats. Basically, it's easiest to use on flat surfaces. So, and then the, the, the locks are a little bit difficult to unloosen and tighten and stuff. But other than that, I'm very grateful for a solid surface. I'm just extra careful because with the two second timer and stuff, it's not carbon fiber so it doesn't absorb bumps. It just, you know, it, it, you can really see it whenever you touch the camera, you can see it jitter a little bit. So I'm just super careful still using the two second timer and making the most of a relatively bad situation. I'm gonna be using the tripod probably every single day. But 
I'm looking forward to seeing if I can use it. Even though it's not the pro version, it's just your normal Walmart tripod. I'm gonna try to make it work for this excursion here in Connecticut. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned a lot. Keep learning with Lenspiration, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I completely forgot. There are two more things I wanted to mention about the Walmart tripod. This is not very high. When you buy a tripod at a Walmart, if you get a cheap tripod, just, you know, get the taller ones usually are gonna be just barely the right height. The second thing was, it's super important when you're using a tripod that the tripod is level. And guess what? This tripod does not have a bubble level. And the head doesn't have a bubble level either. That means I cannot get the camera level um, without some either internal device or external device. And to make this level, here we have the bubbles telling you it's not level. So in order to get it level, what I've been doing this week is just taking the legs and reducing the height of whichever leg is needed to make that camera actually level. And those are the only two things I wanted to mention. If you're using a Walmart tripod, um, just make sure that uh, you get the tallest one as you possibly can, and then uh, just make sure that it has a bubble level or that you bring the bubble level of your own so that it can be nice and level whenever you shoot from